All right, first recap back. Good to have you back. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get things more dialed in next week for sure. So the new down picking stuff, building that base speed up. So yeah, if you need to work it up well, when we do stuff like this, definitely do it. Definitely do it, especially if it's like a, a new complicated pattern and you just got to get it under your fingers. You got to get the muscle memory in and all that good stuff. Then, yep, absolutely work it up. But you showed last night you can absolutely start off down picking at the 200. I think you were about to start trying three times through. I can't remember. But either way, the process. Let's go over the process again for something like this. So what we're going to do is begin with non-muted chord to the next non-muted chord. Now this is going to change depending on what we're working on. Um, well, let's demonstrate. So, yep, starting at 200. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm playing it several times in a row so you can follow along. So I'll do like three things of each, but when you're doing it, just one, only one, one and done. All right. Uh, and then you're going to do this part next. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then you go to here. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then we go to this one, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then to that. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then to here. One, two, one, two, three, four. I feel like I played something wrong there. One. Two, one, two, three, four. I did play something wrong. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then take it to here. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Once you get through all that, now it's time to go through the whole thing. No repeat. One, two, one, two, three, four. Two times. One, two, one, two, three, four. Three, one, two, one, two, three, four. Remember to breathe when you're doing that, because your arm's definitely gonna start feeling it. Um, yeah, gotta get that oxygen. Into the blood, into the muscle. All right, then four times through. Make sure all that tension and fatigue is gone because it's going to build back up real fast. One, two, one, two, three, four.
God, I had the wrong window selected there. Um, yeah, so, let's see. Uh, other thing with this. Other thing we talked about. So, when you are attempting, like, the three and four, or third and fourth repeats, because, again, I think you're about to start doing it three times. So, let's say you couldn't get three repetitions in at 200. So, drop a 10, try again. And give it three solid attempts before you lower it again. So three solid attempts at trying to play whatever repeats you're trying to do. And if you can't get it, drop a 10, try again. And then same thing for getting all four repetitions. So let's say you get down to 180, and that's where you can get all four repetitions. Then the next thing you do is try 181, and then 182, then 183, and so on. So you're going to go up in ones. And then, let's say you get all the way to uh, 187 beats per minute in the first session. And like, know, like 10, 15 minutes of working on this, I think is plenty. It might even be too much. Um, but it might work out fine, because you need to give yourself little breaks in between going faster and all that, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be tough. It's a tough one. But it needs to be in order to really push that down picking speed and endurance. So a bit of speed work and endurance. Um, so yeah, let's say you cap out at 187 for the first practice session. The next day you go back, start at 187. Go through the same warm-up process of non-muted chord to non-muted chord, and then a little then the next one, then the next one. And then play through the whole thing, and then play through it twice, then three times, then four times. And then try it at 188, and then 189, and then 190, and so on. So never go lower if you can avoid it. I know with some people, they would reach a certain speed, and just it was just too high a speed for them to start out with like all the repetitions. So if you have to, lower it back down. If it seems like you know, you're just not hitting the repetitions, drop it 10, try again. Um, but do your damnedest to, to not go lower. This way your base level starting speed is pushed to be higher and higher. And I think that covers this. Uh, so yeah, scale stuff. Uh, change the setting here. Is it? There we go. Okay. So yeah, working with, you know, looking at the, um, Here, just move that there, and let's close that. Yeah, so this is taking those pentatonic shapes and filling in the notes to make the diatonic shapes and do, we call them the cage system shapes, or as I like to call them, the condensed scale shapes. Because, yeah, I just don't, I've learned about the cage system. It's like, man, it was really underwhelming to learn about. I'm like, really, that's the whole pro point of it? It's just, like, to help you see chord tones better? But honestly, I just, yeah, to me it was, like, a big waste. <laughs> I feel like, just use your ear. If you really want to focus on specific notes of a chord when it comes up, I mean, you know the note names on the fretboards. Just, you just do that. I don't know. Cage system. Yeah. Anyway. So yeah, what I would do is, you know, be able to play both shapes well. So you play the pentatonic first. And then the diatonic. Just get that memorized and then work on the next one. Again, start the pentatonic and then the diatonic. And then the 
next shape. And the next shape done in two places. going to pull something up and I forgot about doing it until I started making your video I was like wait a minute I was gonna send something over to you so let me open that now so I can talk about it all right rhythm work sets where is the here we go all right Here we go. This is the thing I'm gonna send, and actually, okay. Let me put it over there. Switch settings again. I'm not finding things quickly. All right, let me just do this. Reset transformation. There we go. All right, I'm gonna send this over to you. And let's see, down here, I think it's set number 27. All right, so it's kind of funny how this works. So instead of just clicking on that, you gotta click on the little arrow over here to open it. Preview will end up being just um, a YouTube video. Yeah, that was back before I realized I should have drums with this. And then you got full lesson on playing all this stuff. One, two, three, four. One, and the two, and the three, and the four. Oh man, that's the setup I had back then, huh? Goodness. Anyway, so basically, um, yeah, this is the start of the triplet stuff I was doing in these rhythm work sets. So it starts off with like really basic progression and then gradually makes the progression more difficult more difficult and even more difficult and then eventually you get some single nut stuff going in there and just really and even some legato as well so just really working the hell out of that rhythm there now no need to get, you could pick whichever one you'd like to um set your difficulty with this i would focus on just the chords right now because you got set number 27, 28, oh goodness, there we go, 29, 30, 31, 32, come on. Oh, and here's where I started putting drums to things. Number 32, huh? Uh, and then set 33 as well. So basically sets 27 through 33. Those are the different triplet rhythm work sets that I put together for Patreon. Um, so I'm going to recommend go through as many of those as you can. Now, you know, there's like, t well, like 10 examples per rhythm here. I'm not saying go through all those. I would just like do 
one of the chord progression things and stick with that. So you can make it really easy on yourself and just stick with the first progression for each one. Because the main thing we want to do is just go through the rhythms, right? Um, where are we? There we go. Yeah, so just do that and kind of see, you know, what rhythm stuff you can count, see what's causing struggles, and just kind of see where you get throughout the week. Um, let's see. As far as, like, let's see. All right, so here's something to write down as far as, like, testing these things out. And this is something I do with people now. So, like, you take, like, 27, set number 27, start with the first progression. Or you can do, again, one of the more challenging ones if you'd like. But I think the most important thing is getting the rhythm and the counting down. Go up in 20s. Just see how far you can get going up in 20s. Um, some of the stuff is just not practical playing at, like, 240. So, with the triplets, I'll say... If you can get up to 200 while going up in 20s, you're fine. Go on to the next one. Like maybe like your your I guess your job will be like find something you can't reach 200 by going up in 20s. When you find that, then work it up in fives the traditional way. So again, you start with set number 27. Pick whatever chord progression you like. I recommend just starting with the first one because let's just make it easy. And um, just get the strumming down. That's the main thing. But if it feels like the strumming is just like, ah, this chord progression is too dang easy and you want to make it more challenging, that's a good time to go to the one, one of the more difficult ones. Um, yeah, work it up in 20s. Starting at 60, of course. If you reach 200, you don't need to work on it. When you find a progression and a strumming pattern, you cannot reach 200. For example, let's say you get 27. Yep, you got to 200. 28, you got it to 200. 29, you got it to 200. Set number 30, uh, you only got to 180. Okay. And you just couldn't hit 200, and 180 was damn near impossible. Then that's when you start working it up in fives. So look for the one you can't reach 200 by going up in 20s. Um, I feel that's a pretty good way of assessing where you're at with stuff. And yeah, I think that's the, uh, the start to the return. Okay, any questions, let me know. I'll see you again next week.